Great. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to actually create a list and save it. Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do your search, uh, how we've done it before in the uh, tutorials. So let's just type in the retirement. Okay, and we can start selecting people from this particular search. Let's just say we found a, a good search. Uh, and we want to scroll down on the page. And you want to click Create List. This is a little button here, Create List. And we'll call it uh, Retirement List Example. You can name it whatever you need to name it. It can be as super long as you want it to be. Um, and you can always change it later. So don't feel that like you have to get it right exactly the first time. Let's just click on Add. So what's gonna, what the system is going to do is it's going to take those selected contacts and it created a new list called retirement list example. We'll click OK. And the reason why um, it was created uh, is because we selected the contacts, told the system to create list, and now the list is available to be selected under the add to list functionality. So let's just click on this drop down menu. And as you can see here, we have this retirement list example. Now, a <clears throat> couple of things to know. If we select the same contacts and we say, let's add them to the list, the system already knows that these people are in the list. So these th three contacts were not added because they already exist. If I selected uh, these particular contacts and then I go to the drop down, I hit retirement list example, click on add to list. So we've added an additional three to these lists. Okay, now to always create a list, you can do it this way. Uh, there's another way you can do it, and I can show it to you in just a few moments. But that is how you would uh, select contacts and then start moving them or save them into a list. Now, if you wanted to select all 420, you do have an option here as well. You can select all results and then select the drop down menu for add to list and click on that and 414 will be added to that list six were not because they're already in there now it's very important that you must again this is a must you must click on the names that you want to save and you must click on either create list or add to list if you don't select the correct list to add you'll get this error saying that you didn't select the list. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you create your list. All right. In the next video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to manage your list. And we're going to jump to the, into that in just a few moments. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.